Welcome to ME160 Engineering Drawing, Part 6 Development, Section 2.2. Learning Objective 2.2. Be able to apply auxiliary projection to determine the true shape and edge view of a plane. Edge view of a plane. The edge view of a plane can be obtained by projecting along a true length of a line on the plane. This could be the edges of the plane or a line drawn on the plane. Take the example of our rectangular plane ABCD. Projecting on from the left side of that which will yield the left side view. If that view is a vertical line, then AB, that will be the edge view. And that will imply that AB, the edge AB, is a true length because it is in direction of the vector the projector and therefore will yield a point view. Likewise, the edge 1DC is also in line with our projector. Therefore, that must also be a true length and it will give us a point view. Projecting from above, if that should yield a horizontal line, then again it means the length, the edge, that is, then that would be an edge view, and the side BC will be a true length, and that will mean. Projecting along BC, which is the projector above, will yield a point view, that is BC. Likewise, AD will also yield a point view because it's a true length. Edge view of a plane. Example. Here we have two views of a triangle, a plane. ABC. That is the front view and the top view. Now, looking at this, if the edge view of the plane, of that plane is required, let's first look at the edges if they indicate a true length, any of them. Taking the front view, AB, and the top view, AB, none is a true length view. Likewise, AC in the front view and AC in the top view, that is also not a true length view. Then we pick the, si the side, the length, the edge, BC in the front view, BC in the top view, that also is not a true length view now. Now, which means we cannot use the projection along any of the edges. Therefore, we need now to draw a line on the plane on any view and find the corresponding true length of that very line in the other view. So here we pick our front view and draw the line AD, D being on the edge BC. Now, that line is horizontal. We determine the point D on the plan by projecting from the front view D point to identify the point D on BC on the top view and drawing the line AC. Here we now have AC on the plan being the true length. Therefore, if we project along AD, which is a true length belonging to the, the triangular plane, then we expect to obtain an edge view. 
And since that is inclined, then that must be an auxiliary projector. Therefore, we need a mutual view of our plan, which will be the front view, and a mutual projector projecting from our plan to obtain the mutual view in that direction. Then we need to introduce our XY reference plane at a convenient location. Here, XY going through the point C. Therefore, the point C is zero on the XY, but the subsequent point A, B, D are positive based on the, mute, the direction of the mutual vector MP. Now, we introduce another reference plane, X1, Y1, perpendicular to AP. And now we start by our projection of points. Picking point one, projector C, on the plan according to AP, then we look at its respective distance on the mutual view with respect to XY. It is on XY, therefore it is zero. Then the next point here is point A, and then we go to the mutual view and look at the point A, its distance from XY, and it is positive. We pick the perpendicular distance to XY of A and plot it positive. Then we go to the next point D, and again go to the mutual view and pick its distance, which is also positive, and then we put it. Then we could also come with a point D, which is at the same distance as A. Therefore, if the construction has been well done, these should all lie on a straight line. And that means the view obtained by AP now is a line that is an edge view. That is an edge view of the plane. <clears throat> true shape of a plane. The true shape of a plane can be obtained by projecting perpendicular to the edge view of the plane. AB projecting perpendicular to AB, AB. Here, from our previous example, that is the edge view. And therefore, if that is the case, we expect the true shape to be obtained in the view given there. That must be the true shape. The true shape also indicates the true length of the various edges. True shape of a plane, our example. Let's go in, going back to the previous assignment where we determined the edge view, we could now go further to obtain the true shape of our triangle because note the front view that we have here and the top view, none of them actually is a true shape of the triangular plane. Therefore, to obtain the true shape, we must project perpendicular to the edge view which was provided. Now, projecting over here, we call that the second auxiliary projection because that view was obtained by an auxiliary projection. So that was the first auxiliary projection result. So now this is the second auxiliary projection. Then in that situation, we need a mutual view and the mutual view based on that first auxiliary, first auxiliary elevation must be our normal plan. So mutual view, sec, that the second mutual view will be our plan. And our second mutual projector, our second mutual projector must be in the opposite direction of the first auxiliary projector AP. Now, introducing our XY reference plane with respect to sec 2 MP, will go, it's going through C. Now, which means points to the left of XY on the plan are positive because of the direction of 2P. 
Right. So the point C is zero. The rest of the points are positive. Then now we introduce the x2, y2 reference plane that must be perpendicular to the 2AP. Then we go in for our projector and project the point C. Now when we look at the mutual 2MV, we note that the point C is on x, y, therefore it's zero. Then we go for our projector point A. A over there, and we look at this 2MV view, we see it is a positive distance and the furthermost point from XY. So that is there. Then we go for the projector B, and the projector B, we look at the perpendicular distance on the 2MV, and that is also a positive value over here. So we have the three points of our triangle. Therefore, we could have our true shape, and that will mean that corresponds to the true lengths of the respective edges as well. That's the true shape. End of part two.